On December 28, 2009, a group of Mesic members and friends landed in Meru, a place where all of the foundation's projects in Kenya are implemented by the Women's Development Office under the auspices of Meru Diocese. Accompanying Mesic's president Dirk was Henry, a property developer, Fred, an investor, economist L, Herbert and Mario, who both are industrialists. For four days during the tour, the six Dutch businessmen crisscrossed the region not only to witness for themselves some of the initiatives already in place, but also to officially open and learn how to proceed with various development projects that are targeting to minimize suffering, reduce poverty, but most importantly, encourage self-reliance. As it has always been, the host during this trip is Sister Gemma Kathure, a member of Nazareth Sisters of Annunciation, who is the head of the Women Development Office and also Messick's representative in Kenya. The group's first mission was to travel to Ruiri for a groundbreaking ceremony. This is where a 50-bed capacity health centre will stand and its construction is expected to take about 17 months. There will be a theater for minor surgeries, a maternity, plus a children's wing. People are suffering because of diseases, especially mothers. To go to the hospital very far away, then get even children on their way, babies in their way. Then when the children are sick, to go to the hospital, they, even the children can die on the way. Other basic necessities that will also be constructed are kitchen and laundry sections. This is a location where another clinic is expected to be complete in several months' time. Okay. So in the outpatients department... Mutuati Health Center will be giving medical attention to the residents who are in great need of the service. Because the visit coincided with a Sunday, the group participated in a mass that was conducted by Father Matthew Kaimeni, the person who is also in charge of the medical project. And I'm also a businessman. Mesix delegates, too, had a brief moment with the worshippers. After the spiritual session was over, it was time to get into business, and led by Dirk, a stone to officially grace the commencement of this noble work was laid as a brief ceremony was witnessed by hundreds of happy Mutuati residents. Mesix availed 40,000 euros as part of the cost for this project. Primarily, the reason for constructing this health center here is to ease the suffering of pregnant women and in this regard, the facility will contain a maternity wing with a 50-bed capacity. The construction of Mutuati Health Center was started in November 2009 and it is expected to be complete in 12 months' time. Still in Mutuati, to increase the sanitation levels at a girl secondary school, Messix is also funding the construction of 36 ablution blocks for the girls. The project is expected to be over by mid-2010. The school had earlier received computers to help them in computer lessons and IT education. Not very far from Mutuati is Antubwete. This is where Messix is also funding the construction of a full primary school from nursery level to class 8. The modern classrooms are expected to replace the current wooden structures that are even not enough. The delegation broke the grounds as a sign of goodwill and cooperation, and it is a wish of Father Ashford Ngaku to have pupils before the end of February 2010. I'm happy that you have come and you have met me, and I hope and I pray that our relationship will continue. By then, the project would have spent about 65,000 euros. A day later, members of the delegation participated in opening two administration blocks of Nekero and Besoni primary schools, respectively. Although the pupils were away for their end-year holidays, some pupils and their teachers had time to participate in the two functions, respectively. The Carroll Primary School now has enough space to accommodate the head teacher and his deputy, staff room, and an archival room. On its part, Besoni now has enough space for its staff in addition to a store, ablution facilities, and a library situated on the top floor. Furthermore, 
Besonin also benefited after the construction of these two classrooms meant to ease congestion in a school that is largely serving the poor and orphans. In March 2009, an electric fault resulted in a huge fire that consumed a section of this building, leaving a trail of destruction. This was the headquarters of the Sisters of Nazareth, a home for the nuns and a place where most of the administration of the congregation used to take place. Following the tragedy, a funds drive was conducted. The day of our fundraising for our new generalate, we were given 11 million Kenya money, which is in Euro, uh, 110,000. And we are so, so much grateful to our benefactors, Cam and his friends, who have really come to us as good friends. The amount raised will help in constructing a new center at this location, not far from Meru town. <laughs> It's very good to see that uh, most of the projects are good running, are uh, functioning, uh, people are happy and that the money invested in the project is uh, used well. The questions that remained about how um, the operational costs will be covered, I think we don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, uh, the Kenyan people in Meru will be flexible enough to, uh, to adjust uh, to whatever is needed and whatever is possible within the uh, financial constraints. At least uh, there are a few people, uh, even if there are a few people, uh, slightly hap happier than they were maybe one day before. And so it makes a difference. It's it, in every sense, all those projects are just great projects. They are, each and every project is really needed mm -hmm. here in here in Meru. Mm -hmm. It will bring pro prosperity to the region. Mm -hmm. It will. Um, it's good for education. It's good for health. Overall, it will do a great deal of good to the community of Meru. At least that's what I hope. Africa as a continent, I think, is in uh, is is in disbalance with the rest of the world. But uh, what very important is, is that the, belief, the people here living in uh, Kenya, they are believing in their country and they are positive about it. So I, I'm, uh, I, I, I have a feeling that it takes maybe some years, but it will be uh, coming better. Just what can we offer? How much can we give? Just what would you like us to do to express our gratitude? We are being done by your generosity. But just remember always, this gratitude shall remain in our hearts forever. My uh, philosophy in life is to lean strongly on, uh, on strong values in life. Uh, one of those values is uh, truthfulness and uh, to stay true to these values. We have worked with them nearly more than 11 years. And um, I feel so encouraged and really our people, they are very appreciating. Messix fundraises through donations from private individuals, charity organizations and also from the business community as a whole. The name Messix is a Latin abbreviation meaning a sound mind in a sound body and as the delegates flew back to the Netherlands, they left their partners with a promise of continuing supporting local initiatives with the aim of not only sharing, but also having a better understanding of different communities in order to achieve a fair and just world. One, two, three. A Nederlandse Links, <laughs> <laughs>